Yo, welcome to this week's video. So in this week's video, we're doing the Lotus. Um, sometimes recently when I've been turning it on, it's been making a funny noise. If I was to replicate the noise as good as I could, it's going to be something along the lines of when I turn it on. So I think the aux belt's a bit loose, needs a bit of tightening. So what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, take the under tray off the rear, reach up and try to tighten the aux belt a bit. I think it's only like three screws and two different sizes, so it should be fairly straightforward, provided I can get underneath. To help me get underneath, rather than having to jack the car up because of the under trays, uh, I bought some ramps. So I'll just show you the ramps quickly. And then we'll take them out and hopefully they'll give me enough height underneath the car to be able to, to get under and reach up and it'll save me having to jack it up, put it on axle stands, etc. So these are the ramps, basically, nice and wide. Um, they've got a little dip in here as well for the tyre uh, to go into and it's a low rise as well so because the car's lowered because um, this can be used with a caddy as well the if they're too steep that causes issues with hitting the car bodywork bumpers and things like that so these are I think the class is low rise so nice easy incline and then it gets you to the height you need um, these are nice and light as well, so it doesn't take much to pick them up, move them around. They've got some handles on, and just literally pick them up, move them around. So nice and portable as well. And I thought to myself, they seem ideal just to get that extra bit of height that I need. Um, they also are used for uh, lowered cars and getting jacks underneath and things like that, which I think mine can get a, like a, a low profile jack underneath without having to use these, but. To get underneath in the first place to take the uh, the trays off the bottom of it, I think these are these are ideal. So let's go use them for the first time and see how far we can get doing this. A little nervous, not gonna lie. So like I said, it only does it sometimes. So I don't know if it's gonna do it now as we start, but we'll soon find out. to get under and at least get the rear tray off and then from there be able to figure out how far up I can reach or if I need to take the middle tray off too. So first thing I'm doing to do to first thing I'm gonna to do to remove the rear tray is take out all the bolts of them around the outside and then there should be two main ones one there and one over the other side over here and I'll take those out last and then the tray should just drop down give me access to underneath section as well and so if I can shuffle under here to figure out where I need to be because I need to be this is the belt I need to tighten and from my understanding is I need to be there's a screw on top of it and then there's a screw over here and then on the end so there's an, just a screw which you loosen so you can move it and then on the end you, uh, you can tighten it and that will automatically tighten the belt and then you re-tighten the adjuster screw and the pivot bolt and then that should be tight enough so let me get my hands up there or if I can get my head further in here and figure out where I need to be and that'll be a huge help right so what I'm trying to do here is um, the 
bolt that pulls it tight I don't think is there so I'm trying to see it on the camera because I don't know how I can the adjuster bolt if I loosen that then that's surely going to pull the belt less tight and it needs to have the other one in to tighten it at the end dust in the face so let me figure this out so this here has a groove in it so I think if you loosen this one then this will be a slide sort of backwards and forwards with this bolt up here which is the pivot bolt so loosen that one loosen that one and then you've got the ability to move it forwards and backwards and then I think there should be a screw in the end here which will pull it tight and then that'll be basically the the thing once it's tight you then tighten this back up and tighten that back up and that's where it needs to be but feeling around here I can't feel any uh, any screw so I don't know whether there's one snapped off in there or whether there is just not one there so what I'm trying to do is get a camera up there so I can see exactly what's going on in there I don't think I can do it with enough room to be able to see down where I should be able to see that. Is that it? Okay, so I think I've managed to take a video of inside that hole so hopefully that's exactly what I think it is and it, we just need a bolt in there which I don't have so I'll have to order um, but I'll watch the video now and we'll see so what I'm gonna do before or until that part comes which I need to order is I'm gonna take all the bolts that I've taken off put them in separate bags so I know exactly where they went um, store them with which tray they came off etc it's probably overkill because it's a very simple but just to prompt my memory uh, prompt my memory when i come back to it um and then when that gets i think it's literally like 20 minutes to get everything back to normal now uh, i just need that port which i'll order hopefully i'll get it by monday and get it done next week okay so we're about a week later i've got the part that i've been waiting for and i've got time to fit it now so eight millimeter bolt and this is the adjuster bolt so this is what pulls it out and keeps it there basically but I'll show you when we get in the or underneath the Lotus okay so this seems better today I can't even see if this is in focus or not because it's so close to my face there we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the adjuster in first which goes in here in here and hopefully that'll go all the way down to the point where it needs to be before tightening to then undo this one and then there's one just at the top up here and then once they're loose I can then tighten that properly to pull it a bit more it's just squeaked again as I've opened it so I mean it feels like it should be it feels like it's at the, the tightness it should be but I'll give it a go plus I've read that these snap quite easily but I presume they're going to be okay We'll figure it out as we go. Worst case scenario, I've seen like um, a motorsport bracket that goes between this bolt and this bolt, and it's like two rows joints um, threaded, and then you just wind it out. And that seems like a way better option than this year, this year, and one coming in this side where there's not a lot of room. But like I said, we might have to come back to that. We'll figure it out anyway. Right, so I found it easier to come from. I don't know if you can see my hand, I can't actually see the big 
found it easy to come from the other side to get this in and I've screwed it and it looks like it's pushed up against the alternator now so rather than trying to tighten it when there's some resistance I'm going to loosen these two screws then see if I can screw it a few more times and then I'll go back and tighten them so this is an 8 and I believe these are 15s um, but I'm going to come out and have a rest because the way I'm trying to squash myself down isn't particularly comfortable okay so we're all in so the screws in there going that way I think actually you can I can't remember where my head was where I could see it coming out the other end but it took a while to get in because uh, I presume it's got dirt in it or had dirt in it so I had to go in a bit then come out and go in come out and get a bit deeper every time so it took a while to screw it in but it's there now and start to pull the belt so the belt has I think that's the right about the right amount of slack in it it's not sort of too tight to cause stress on the bearings um, and then I've done the top one up and this one up so before I put so before I put the under tray on I'm going to start it up um, the thing with this is it doesn't always do it so if it doesn't do it then I'll just keep an eye on it but I presume that's going to sort it out now because it's well, better than it was presume that's now done and sorted it may come back and need some adjustment in the future but for now I'm going to put the under trays um, back on go for a little spin and see and that concludes the video I hope you had as good a time as I did which is running like a peach until next time enjoy